Good morning, Lower School. Welcome to your first English lesson. For the Lower School this week, our grammar focus is on prepositions. So what is a preposition, you may ask? A preposition is a word that is used before a noun or a pronoun to convey how things are related or connected to each other. And they can be in three different categories. So they can be in place, movement or time. And here's some examples. We have in, under, beneath for place, into, down, to for movement, on, since and before for time. So let's take a look at some that we have already in our sentences. So here, our first one looks at place. Miss Coxhead is in the classroom. Mr Anderson went around the table and Mrs Heads has been at Fair Oak for a, for a long time. So we've got place, movement and time. Let's take a look. Using our book that we've been looking at, here is our first picture. Here's the first sentence I've created. Why don't you pause the video and try and find our preposition. Did you find it? Our first preposition is outside, because the girl is outside the house. Let's take a look at our second sentence. The plant is beside the table. Pause the video to see if you can find a preposition. Did you find it? The preposition is beside because the plant is beside or next to the table. How about this sentence? Slightly longer this time. The boiler is under the floor. Here's the boiler and it's under the floor. Try and find the preposition. The preposition for this sentence is under because the boiler is under the floor. And for our final sentence, it is, her sister is lying down on the sofa. This one's a little bit of a tricky one. I might have to help you. Just have a think, because her sister is lying down. Now lying down is what the girl is doing. But where is she in relation to something else? Why don't you pause and have a think? Have you thought? It's a tricky one, isn't it? So her sister is lying down on the sofa. So the girl, as I said before, is lying down. But where is she in terms of the sofa? Well, the word that is the preposition in this sentence is on, because the girl is on the sofa. How is she on the sofa? She is lying down. That one was a bit of a trick one to try and see if you, I could challenge you. But my challenge now that I would like you to do is, could you use some of these prepositions in your own writing? Why don't you use this picture to write some more? Maybe challenge yourself to be writing a paragraph. And if there is anything you would like to share with us, any writing or any sentences, why not pop it on Purple Mash to show your teachers? And I look forward to sharing with you next week our next grammar task.